Good morning, YouTube. As requested by this person, Smart Robot Reviews, he wanted to know the size of the dustbin. Well, I'm a science person. I'm like, sure, this is easy. I'll just go ahead and fill the bins up with powder and we'll figure out the volume. Easier said than done. So stay tuned and watch me make a mess. So I didn't realize how hard this test was going to be because as I started filling it up with powder in a small inlet, it started to become messier and messier. A lot of the powder started going onto the table. The first couple spoonfuls, I tried my best to get all the powder inside the small inlet, but it was just too difficult and I woke up early to do this video and my lack of sleep probably didn't help much. You guys are probably thinking to yourself, well, there must have been a better way, and I'm pretty sure there was, but what I had laying around was the best I could do. So enjoy me struggle for a good few minutes trying to put all the powder in the small inlet for your YouTube pleasure. While these dustbins only held a couple of cupfuls of powder, it seemed like it was endless. I kept putting spoonfuls and spoonfuls of powder, never seeing the end. Finally, after a good 15 minutes or so of just shoving powder in, I finally reached the top and was able to scrape off most of the excess powder from the top. On to the Roomba i7's dustbin. Thankfully, this had a larger inlet and I was able to go a lot quicker. But it was still a redain long task. While we sit here and watch me shove powder in this inlet, let's go ahead and answer another YouTube's question. So this person asked, can the older Roomba 980 support the no-go zones? Well, unfortunately, the 980 does not have smart mapping capabilities. So no, it cannot support the app no-go zones. You have to use the lighthouse. Um, I'm almost done with the powder test. So let's go ahead and scrape off the excess and see how much these bins can hold. So here's where my real struggles begin. I tried emptying the dustbin directly into the jar, but that was definitely a harder task than I anticipated. I got the majority of just the top layer onto the table, so I decided to try a different method. So here's my second round of stupidity. While emptying the dustbin directly into this pan was a good idea, trying to get the material from the pan into the jar was just as hard. I soon realized this wasn't much better, so here's my third thing I tried. So I got a bowl, it was still difficult getting all the material inside the jar, but it was a lot easier than trying to use the pan or the putting the stuff directly from the dustbin into the jar. So this is a highly accurate test, but it just gives you a general idea how much the S9 dustbin can hold. Let's go ahead and check out the i7's dustbin. Just from looking at the two, the S9 does look larger, but the test results were surprising. So keep in mind these are the i7 Plus and S9 Plus dustbins. If you order the i7 or S9, their dustbins are slightly larger according to iRobot. I was surprised to see that the i7 and S9 dustbins held the same amount of powder at 1.5 cups. I hope you enjoyed this test. I have some cleaning up to do and I'll get ready for the next video for you guys. You guys have a great rest of your week and be safe out there. Bye.